Now it's 514 and we have another beautiful day on tap. Just a few more clouds in the forecast today compared to yesterday where we had a completely clear blue sky. So just imagine this background here. A few high clouds, mostly sunny highs in the 50s and 60s. So more of the same in the way of temperatures and what we'll warm up to. And this is really going to be the case the rest of the week. I know yesterday we had a chance of 70s Thursday, Friday, but it looks like we'll stay in the upper 60s in the warmest spots through the work week and then we'll push into the 70s this weekend. So a little bit more above normal this weekend. Also possible this weekend, some very light snow. At best, some flurries, but mainly in the White Mountains. But this far south, we are not going to get any moisture. But there is a chance for some portions of Arizona to see some snowfall. Uh, current temps, 35 for Midtown, 34 for Sabino Canyon and Scout Camp up on Mount Lemon, 39 for Oro Valley, and 42 for Marana. So definitely cold again, but temperatures are pretty close to where we were yesterday. 24 in Wilcox right now, 31 in Tombstone, 30 in Pierce, 28 in Sasby, and 50 in Ajo. So cold all across the board. Bundle up before you head out. High temps today back in the mid to upper 60s for the warm spots. Mix of sun and high clouds with a west northwest wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. And then tonight, most of us will drop back into the 30s, so staying very cold in the mornings with some near normal afternoon highs across Cochise County. We'll warm it up mainly into the low 60s today, except for Bisbee. You'll push just to 59 again. Uh, 64 for Nogales, upper 60s for Ajo and Sells. Same thing up in Phoenix. And then tonight, pretty chilly again, back in the low 20s for the coldest spots like Wilcox. Mid to upper 20s for a few portions of Cochise, Graham and uh, Greenlee County and even Santa Cruz County. Uh, Nogales, you all could drop to 29, 28 in Douglas and at the freezing mark in Sierra Vista and Bisbee. So Keep protecting those four P's. Moving on to your future cast for today, there is a system that is going to pass by to the north of us. Uh, the only impact here, here in southern Arizona, is going to be some high cloud cover, and that's pretty much it. But the high country could see some light rain, even a mix, and even some snow for the higher spots and where it's cold enough. This is 9 p.m. tonight, and a few snow showers could linger into early tomorrow morning, but that's pretty much it. We're staying dry tonight and potentially clearing up that cloud cover, and that's going to help our temperatures drop by quite a bit again. This system, of course, will um, help cool us off too, so that's why our overnight lows are going to stay a bit below normal for this time of year. Once that makes its way um, out of here, it's going to head eastward pretty quickly. High pressure is going to scooch into its place, and by Saturday and Sunday, temperatures will warm into the low 70s. But we also have this area of low pressure off the coast of California that's going to slide in behind that high, and that could bring us our chance for some light snow in the White Mountains and for the high country in northern Arizona by the end of the weekend. But this far south, we are not going to see anything, unfortunately. But looking beyond the next seven days and looking at your 8 to 14 day precipitation outlook, it is showing an above average chance for precipitation for the high country. Equal chances here in central and southern Arizona and below normal for parts of New Mexico and Texas. And then for our temperature outlook, it does look like beyond the next seven days, western portions of the um, state have a chance of below average temperatures. We have equal chances, so we're going to be kind of sitting right around normal over the next 8 to 14 days. A little bit warmer than average if you're heading out towards the southeast, so that'll be a nice change. But looking ahead, pretty close to average for this time of year, which is 67, and that's going to be the case through pretty much Friday. And then we'll warm it up above normal as we head into the weekend, low 70s. A little bit breezy at times as that system passes through, but we are staying dry and overnight lows, getting pretty cold, mainly in the mid to upper 30s and low 40s. That's a check of weather.